CBS Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the National Football League. For 99 seasons, the National Football League has been a staple of our society. Some of sports' most iconic figures, lasting images, and memorable moments have taken place on the gridiron. The game has evolved into a global phenomenon. And here we go. Celebrating 100 years of the NFL. Pat Summerall here with John Madden. Today, we begin the 60th season of the NFL on CBS. This day is our day! The Saints, after two straight division titles, look to bounce back from two straight devastating playoff exits. With big-time playmakers, can New Orleans return to glory? Yeah! The Chargers, a 12-win season a year ago, saw an end in disappointment as well. But like the Saints, are loaded with talent and high expectations. It's the Saints, the Chargers, and the 100th season of the National Football League. Welcome to Southern California, Sunday afternoon NFL action. That has a nice ring to it. It's week two of the preseason. The New Orleans Saints taking on the Los Angeles Chargers here at Dignity Health Sports Park. And welcome to the broadcast booth, everybody. Ian Eagle along with the legend. Is it legend or legendary? Well, legend's good. Myth is not good. <laughs> legendary Dan Fouts, Hall of Famer Evan Washburn joins us down on the sidelines. 60th year of the NFL on CBS. And Dan, we've got two of the most talented teams in the league going head to head. Preseason action, so they're still sorting some things out. Uh, these are two teams that expect to be in the hunt when it's all said and done. Well, the first thing I've got to do is put that disappointing losses in the uh, playoffs last year behind them. But they're both told us yesterday they're going to use that as motivation. They're both determined to make those uh, expectations come true. Well, if you're the Chargers, you know that you've got a chance come playoff time if you've got Phillip Rivers in a quarterback. Not going to play here, but Rivers is still looking like the guy that we've grown accustomed to through the years. He's 37, 16-year veteran, and he has the NFL's longest active consecutive game streak at 208 games, and yet he plays with the exuberance of a fresh-faced rookie, the true inspirational leader for the very talented Charger team. Chargers, though, were dealt a crushing blow earlier this week. Their all-pro safety, Derwin James, suffered a foot injury, stress fracture. He will have surgery in the coming week. You're talking about a three- to four-month potential recovery time. So, in his stead, Adrian Phillips is expected to be the next man up to go to the Pro Bowl last season as a special team. But they're also dealing with some drama on the offensive side of things. We check in with Evan Washburn for more. Yeah, and Pro Bowl running back Melvin Gordon continues to hold out. His goal is to be paid and given a new contract near at the top of the running back market. I spoke with GM Tom Telesco yesterday to see where things stand. And while they value Gordon and want him to be part of the future, there seems to be no movement towards meeting his demands because they have their salary cap future in mind. They have a lot of young players they'd like to sign, including Gordon and also that 37-year-old quarterback, Phillip Rivers, playing in the final year of his deal. And one last note, they feel really good about the running back group as it stands right now led by Austin Eckler. Yeah, there's depth there, no doubt, and Eckler is someone who's going to have more responsibility with this Gordon situation. Well, he made the team two years ago by uh, some stellar play on special teams and some flashes on offense. He's the main guy now. He's versatile, durable, and he told us yesterday more comfortable in his role as a starter because of his familiarity with the offense and how the offense has slowed down for him. Well, heartbreaking losses. That has been a recurring theme for the Saints. Drew Brees, though, he's got such a positive approach when it comes to these things. When you won a championship, that might change your perspective a bit, but, boy, they're still A-OK -okay at quarterback. Yeah, and he told us yesterday, it's kind of surprising, that he had as much fun ever playing football last season. And that's saying something when you think about his Hall of Fame-worthy career. Now in his 19th season, Brees shows no signs of slowing down, and he's excited to have so many talented teammates to work with. Alvin Kamara, coming into just his third season, has already established himself as one of the league's most versatile backs. And nobody has more catches in NFL history in his first three years than wide receiver Michael Thomas and the big tight end Jared Cook. Huge catch radius. His run after catch ability is very underrated. There will be plenty of options in the